In this video, I'll show you the easiest free way to create a Google form and make it live on a WordPress site. We will also get a response like this in an email with a PDF file when someone submits a form. Before we start making our form, we should also install a free plugin called Airlift so that our Google form doesn't get stuck when users interact with it. So I will go to this website. I'll put my website URL here, click continue, and then Airlift does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, a good CDN, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just Airlift is enough. The exciting part is that it also does a lot of extra stuff that no one else does. Like all speed plugins will optimize your images, but Airlift will go even further by resizing them to fit all kinds of screens like mobile, tablets, etc. This is not the end. There are many other cool features as well. And that's why most people get a 90 plus score in the first go. And in the rare occurrence that you don't, you just need to ping the support here and they will take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Go to Google and search for Google form and click this link. From here, click go to forms. And on the top, it gives me various templates to choose from by clicking here. So you can access the whole library but for this tutorial, I want to create a contact form for my site. So I will click contact form. Awesome. Now let's edit this form. First, I'll change the title. So click on it and edit it like this. Next, I will change the name element to this. And on the right, from this drop down, I can select the type of input field you want to provide to your visitors. As this field is about full name, so I will choose short answer. Now, if you want to add a new field, you can simply click this plus button and edit it using the previous steps. If you want to delete any field, just go here and click this bin icon. To make any field compulsory, you can just toggle this option like this. If you want to make this form short and divide it into sections, then you can add a section by going here and clicking this button. This will give users a button called next to move on to the other section of the form. If you want to customize the look and feel of the form, just click on this icon. From here, you can change font color and also add a background to your form. For now, I will change the banner image by going to the header. And from this window, you can change your header image like this. So now you know how to create a form and edit the fields. So pause this video, quickly create your form. And when you're done, we will see how we can turn on notifications and make this form live on our WordPress site. Next. To receive a notification when someone submits the form, we will use an add-on. So to do that, go to the top right and click these three dots. Select get add-ons. In the search bar, look for email notification. Here it is. Click here to install it. Sign in with your Google account and click done. Now let's go back to our form and you will see this icon. Click it and it gives me this pop-up. I'll select open app. On the top, go to create and click email notification. Let's give this notification a name like this. Put the sender's name here and down here you can edit the email structure of the form. This looks good to me, so I will click continue. Next in the recipient section, you can play around with the settings, but for now I will keep them as it is. So I'll go down and click continue. In the PDF section, I will enable this option to receive responses in PDF format. Okay, let's save the settings by clicking save. Awesome. Now we have our form, we took care of our notification. The last step is to embed this form into our WordPress site. So on the top, go to send and click here. Copy the HTML code. On my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to pages, add a new page. And here on the top, click this plus button. In the search bar, look for HTML. Click it and in this section, I'll paste the HTML code that we copied from our Google form. Now on the top right, I'll hit publish. To see how it looks, I will click this button. Here it is. I will fill up the response and hit submit. Now to check if my responses are stored properly, I'll go back to the Google form and in the response section, I can see all the responses like this. Remember we enabled email notification using an add-on? So to check that, I'll go to my email inbox 
and this is how the response looks like. Now, if you're someone who likes Excel or Sheets, then just go to Responses and click this button. Now, all your responses will automatically get stored in your Google Sheet. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.